My late nephew didn't die immediately. So he was able to narrate what actually happened. That the, the so-called brother-in-law poured them fuel while they were sleeping and strike matches and locked the door. He was shouting, what did he do to Oga Ben? That he had to pour them fuel, strike matches and lock the door and burn them alive. Problem. Problem. Another problem. If you don't love anybody's daughter, instead of killing them, hand them back to their father. Divorce is not allowed under any condition. But this is what I believe. It is better to be alive and there is no marriage than for you to die because of marriage. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Comfort Video and this is Just With Comfy. If you're stumbling upon this channel for the very first time, you're highly welcome. Do also hit that subscribe button and the post notification bell. In that way, you always get notified anytime I post a new video. Um, welcome back to yet another video. Today's video is going to be a quick one. And as a disclaimer, this is in the night. I'm making this video in the night. So just ignore... Um, whatever quality you are seeing i would have loved to make this video in the daytime but i have a busy schedule this day so it makes it very difficult for me to make videos in the daytime for now so yeah that's why i decided to make it this night but i've actually been procrastinating this video so without further ado let's just get down to the video i know it's no longer news that um the gospel music minister Osina Chimwachuku is dead. Yeah, so um, I saw this news on Friday, I think popped out on Friday, that was 8th of April. And um, it was sad. If actually you don't know who Minister Osinachi is, she's a gospel music artist. She sings a whole lot of songs. She's known for the song that she featured in Ekuweme. <laughs> sang another song um the cry you will cry i think after a queen that was actually another song of hers that really got to me the cry you will cry when the sins are gone the cry you will cry when the sins have gone cry it now while the saints are still around so she's a gospel music artist here in nigeria the news of her death actually surfaced on social media at first we heard she died of throat cancer and um, it was really a sad one but along the line things started popping up on the media after i went down to check i actually heard that um, she was beaten by her husband and the husband kicked her on her chest and then she was rushed to the hospital and she was in life support for five days and thereafter she couldn't make it and she passed on um, from the report it was said that blood clots was found in her chest so yeah this is just um, the news we are hearing surrounding the death of minister osinachi so people came out to talk that this lady had opened up to a lot of persons that she's actually in an abusive marriage that her husband do beat her even sometimes tying her down and telling her kids to come and beat her he tries to be her manager. He's the one managing her phones. He gets angry when she goes out for performances and a whole lot of things. And it's a sad one that she had to endure all of this and then eventually died out of it. Um, I just came out to talk about a few things. 
I just came out to talk to us. I just came out to talk about this matter. Um, as women, we are seeing the way our society is going. Our society is really turning into something that I can't even talk. I don't even know what to say about. You know, a lot of women are passing through abusive marriages and they are just quiet. Maybe because of fear of, um, like her now, she's a public figure. So maybe she must have been scared of, oh my God, what will people say? What will people do? I personally, I am not a preacher of divorce. I don't preach divorce your husband. But in a situation that you know that you are in an abusive marriage, it's better you take a bow, walk out. Walk out of that marriage. Your life is more precious. You know, you can go out, you can separate, you can go out and leave. I'm not telling you go out and be married, but at least leave the marriage for your life. Honestly, some women will say, I'm staying there because of my children, I'm, I'm sticking because of my kids. If you eventually die in that marriage, your kids automatically becomes orphans. Because if you die, your husband is going to be arrested. And when he's arrested, he might end up spending the whole of his life in jail. Or he will definitely be killed because murder, if you kill somebody in Nigeria, you have to die as well. So any murder case, the, the resource is also dead. So if you are saying you're, staying, you're sticking because of your kids, just have it at the back of your mind that if you die, your kids, those kids you're sticking for are going to end up suffering. So it's not better you stay alive for them. It's better you stay alive for them and then walk out of the marriage and live a better life outside the marriage. You know, a situation that men beat women in such a way that they will beat them up to the point of death. I keep asking myself, how did we live where we were to where we are now? Like, you know, before they get married, you'll be hearing a whole lot of things, pet names, sweetheart, darling, my love, this one, that one. But all of a sudden, in marriage, this same woman that you loved your whole life, that you could do anything for, is the same person you now turn into a punching bag. You start beating up your wife. Some of you'll be hearing some. I've actually had an encounter with, with some ladies that have been through abusive marriages. And they'll just be telling you that uh, he'll beat me, he'll use mop stick, guys. <laughs> Oga, okay, if you are not man enough to marry, it's better you stay single to the rest of your life. It's better you stay single and get old and die as a single man. Than to go and carry somebody's child from the parents. The parents will dance the child out for you. They will be dancing as they are handing over their child to you to go and kill. Honestly, if you know you cannot take care of a woman, or you cannot live with a woman in the house, or you turn a woman to a punching bag, leave her to be with her parents. Don't go and, and make the parents to dance her out to you and you go and kill her. Honestly, I have seen a lot of women going through a lot of things. I just had to talk about this one. Okay, I think five days before I started hearing of this, I was in a cheese on. I actually heard as well about um, a lady that was staying in Scotland that came back. You know, she, she according to the auntie of the lady, she got married to this man. She was in an abusive marriage. This man was always beating her. She reported to her auntie. And auntie advised that she leaves the marriage. And she left the marriage, got her own house, and started living alone. Later, the man came back and apologized, promised that he has repented. And she followed him. She made a visa and left to Scotland, invited the husband over. She's the one footing the bills. She's the one paying everything. She's the one working in Scotland. I'm building a house here in Nigeria. Then thereafter, the husband traveled from Scotland back to Nigeria to come and sell this house that this woman built. When he came, he realized that the, the document of the house is in the lady's name, obviously. So the man had called the wife and started the raking and this birth issue. The woman said, okay, let her come back to Nigeria so they can settle it. So when she came back to Nigeria, her brother came to the airport and picked her up, took her to this house. So when she got there that night, our, our brother, it was late, so her brother could not make it back that night. So the brother had to pass a night in the house. You guys will not believe that this husband came back and set the house on fire and killed the wife in there. And the brother, the wife's brother, somehow escaped. And after possessing the house, I believe, he started forming as if 
he, he was also in the in the seat there screaming for help people came around somehow somehow as god may have it the wife's brother managed to come out of the window and then everywhere his body was burnt already they tried to go on the water this man had already off the water before carrying out this this premeditated act before they could try to rescue this man and rush the man to the hospital before he gave up he actually was the one that brought all these things to dim light what the husband did and how the, the sister was killed before he passed on so eventually this man succeeded in killing the wife and the wife's brother how how crazy how crazy honestly because I, I don't understand this woman is not even a liability because i would have said okay she's a liability to you that's why you're doing this but she's not a liability she's providing for the family she's the one bringing in money and you still decided that she she must be killed and you ended up killing her and the brother it's sad that men nowadays don't just think the other day i still heard of this same thing like everywhere men are killing their wives and i keep asking why did you go and marry when you know that you're going to kill this woman or you're going to turn this woman to a punching bag honestly some people came out to the media to say my would have would have left the marriage she would have spoken out yes obviously she would have left the marriage but again the society we are into stigmatization okay just imagine people are going to say okay she left the marriage uh, a gospel singer a minister leaving her marriage what is she showing people so more of you that are criticizing her now i did mean she left that marriage this is the same thing people would have been saying uh, an artist she has left her husband now she kept quiet and died in the marriage people are still talking people are still criticizing this is an eye-opener to women out there if you're in an abusive marriage walk out if you eventually die there people will still criticize the fact that you died there so is it not better you walk out for your life for your sanity for your health for your kids working out for your kids to me is the best not staying for your kids when those children grow up in future they will eventually come looking for you so this is just it for this video it's a sad one that this minister had to die this way but um it's sad but we can't do anything about her own death we can't help the fact that she has already died and she's gone so that's why i'm making this video to address people that are still living people that still have a chance to walk out of an abusive marriage walk out now walk out now and leave don't stay there and die and for the single people for the single ladies out there <laughs> now now on better pass so now now on better pass because you guys have not even yet committed like you've not yet committed to somebody you've not picked the person you want to spend the rest of your life with it's better you choose wisely you see this marriage topic is not an easy thing i think i've talked about it in one of my videos that marriage is more spiritual than we think so if you want to think that you can do marriage on your own you can just randomly pick somebody it's, it's it doesn't work that way you have to always take it to god in prayers see god's face before you end up saying this is a person i want to spend the rest of my life with trust me it's a very very serious decision anybody that you pick to submit yourself to that person automatically becomes your lord yes that's what the bible says you guys can remember that sarah in the bible always calls her husband her lord and aside from that the bible has rightly said that the man is the head of the home so as females you need to be careful who you want to pick as the head of your home you need to be very careful you don't just have to pick it randomly you have to involve god because you don't know the intent of people's hearts this same person you see today might be a pretender might just be pretending to love you but once you enter into the marriage you see another thing or you might not be pretending but when when it gets to the marriage you will see another character that you never thought existed so you need to involve god single ladies out there single men as well out there you have to involve god before you pick before you make this lifetime decision you have to involve god because he's the only one that will be able to pick the perfect fit for you just like how he picked for adam he picks eve for adam so just you have to submit yourself to god submit your will to god 
let him be the one that will pick for you and trust me if god is the one picking for you he's just going to make the perfect choice don't just think okay because she's fine or because he's handsome or because he has money or because of this you guys can see in the scenario of these two ladies they're even the ones bringing to the family they're like the breadwinner of the family they are pushing income into the family but it didn't stop the husbands from beating them it didn't stop the husbands from taking them for granted so you you see why you need to involve god single ladies out there and single men out there you need to involve god so this was it for this video um do want to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel turn on post notification bell so you always get notified anytime i post a new video see you guys on the next one for now bye